Good afternoon, guys. Here is your spoiler alert. Today's project, we're gonna be needing this thing. Hey, what's up guys? I'm Dan H and welcome to the project. Right now we are on the road. We're gonna do a little damage assessment for my buddy Andy's XJ. Yeah, he's got a white 97 XJ and uh, he had a little issue and we can't really figure out why. Over the course of the last year, we did a ton of work to it. Let's see, uh, we did a case suspension headlight upgrade. We did the big three battery cable upgrade. We did a uh, new battery, new battery tray. We did a water pump, thermostat, thermostat housing, steering box, um, alternator. We did steering bracing. We did a whole bunch of stuff. The only thing we didn't get to do, which is something we started to do, was put on a new steel bumper. Uh, we had put on bumper brackets, heavy duty bumper brackets to prepare for his bumper, but it started snowing like crazy. We never actually put the bumper on, so he's been driving around without a bumper. Now, his airbag light has been on the whole time, and just, <laughs> just the other day, he went to pick up his daughter from work, and he pulled in the parking spot, and as soon as he put the vehicle in park, boom! <laughs> <laughs> Driver's airbag popped him in the face. The passenger airbag blew all over the seat. Why? He had a uh, airbag deployment for an unknown reason. And <laughs> it's crazy to me, but uh, it is what it is. We're going to go check it out and we're going to go see what's up. All right, here we go. Here's Andy's rig. Check it out. He's a big DE fan. What up, DE? Of course, we got my sticker. Yeah. There he is. What's up, Andy? What are you doing? <laughs> oh my goodness. Cut that baby out. <laughs> oh man. What Blizzard. the heck? How does this happen? Pulling into my parking lot at my daughter's work. And um, the went off and the whole car filled with white. Believable. Holy and smoke. And the horn started going and I couldn't get it to stop. <laughs> I, I don't get it. There's no damage. You know, Rec J crashed really bad. Yeah, Rec J crashed really bad, and this airbags didn't even deploy. Unbelievable. I hit nothing. All right, we'll do a damage assessment. Well, I think what the airbag <laughs> was on before, so. Well, we're definitely gonna need an airbag module. Uh, definitely gonna need an airbag here. Uh, a clock spring to go with it that usually breaks in the deployment process. That passenger airbag, obviously, and the airbag cover rips. So, module, airbag cover, airbag, airbag cover, airbag, and uh, clock spring. We'll grab some parts from stimulus, actually. Then we could fix this some bitch at my house. <laughs> well, crap. Our parts car is covered in snow. <laughs> this should be interesting. Man, I hate winter. We got in. We got like a foot of snow right here. Holy smokes. Just cleared the door. But all right, one of the parts we will need is right under here. That is the airbag sensor. So we're just gonna move all this crap. Actually, this shouldn't be hard. <laughs> I think so. And this, this is probably the worst XJ part ever built. I think JCR makes a nice metal bracket that does not break like this. If you want a nice solid armrest, go ahead and get that JCR armrest and here we go we'll just uh take off these three bolts right here i think they're 10 millimeter we'll unplug this sucker this is ground right here plug right here and uh we'll take this with us perfect all right here we go Let's see if i can do this one-handed to remove the airbag sensor just gotta pull up these white tabs. Tab. Come on. Come on, one hand. One hand, Dan, man. You can do it. Come on. There, two tabs. And then you just squeeze the black tabs right here. Push these in and pull. Ta-da! There we go. Ha! <laughs> Airbag sensor. Now we want to take this airbag and you can access it with an eight millimeter socket on a little extension with a quarter inch drive. And it's right up here, this top hole back here. 
I'm gonna need two hands to get it. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Never mind. There we go. There's the airbag bolt, and one more on the other side. Now, it's very important that you disconnect the battery before tampering with any airbag. Luckily for us, there is no battery in here. Now, airbag should just slide on out. It should be attached by a couple wires, and there we go. This is already unclipped. So here we go, XJ airbag, nice. Now the next step is a little bit more difficult. We want to get the clock spring. The clock spring connects everything electronic on the steering wheel, like the cruise control buttons and the airbag, while allowing it to still move. So first thing we're going to do is take off this nut. Then we're going to grab our puller and remove the steering wheel. All right, got a 13 16 on the impact with a nice long extension to get around the steering wheel. Just going to reverse this a little bit. All right, got the steering wheel nut off. I'm just gonna hand thread it back down to protect the threads when I use the puller. It's probably unnecessary, but I don't know, I just do that sometimes. Force a habit, protect the threads. All right, gonna grab my puller and we're gonna thread the puller bolts into here. All right, got my puller threaded in nicely. You wanna make sure that these bolts are threaded in pretty deep. You wanna get all the meat on the steering wheel, not too deep to where it punctures through the clock spring, which is the part we want to preserve, <laughs> but you want to get enough threads in there so it pulls the wheel without stripping the threads. So the side bolts are threaded in. We got this puller nice and snug right on the center, rested in that center piece. Now we're just gonna tighten down the center. Steering wheel should loosen up. We'll take off the puller. We'll undo the nut on the steering wheel and everything should come off nice and neat. All right. Right there. Oh, that was really easy. <laughs> there we go. I think that's it. There we go. Wheel out. And here we have the clock spring. Yay. Nice and filthy. All right, we're just going to remove these top and bottom caps so we have access to pop this thing out. Just working on taking off the shroud. It's uh, one, two, and three screws. They long Phillips head screws. Um, the center section right here. That is not a screw hole. That is a button to press to release your your uh, tumbler, your lock tumbler. Um, this bottom one's a little annoying because you gotta remove that shroud. It's basically unclip it from itself. And then everything should just kinda fall to pieces. <laughs> fall to pieces, I said. All right, pulled off the bottom part of the steering wheel shroud, and all that's left is two tabs and two plugs. So I'm gonna take these plugs off. There we go, the old lift and pull, <laughs> one-handed. Now there's two tabs, one at six o'clock and one at 12 o'clock. It's hard to get to, yeah. You're gonna wanna remove, well not remove, you're gonna wanna just pry up on these tabs like this. This removes the clock spring from the bottom. But there's another one up here behind all these gizmos. So I don't want to, but I might just have to unbolt the turn signal switch and wiper switch. All right, so I just unbolted this little shroud. It's like a T25 Torx. This just holds together all the uh, steering wheel components, all these switches. And right here in the back, this is the tab for the clock spring. This is what you gotta get to. Don't wanna break it off. So there we go. Now, normally I'd remove everything, clean it up, but this is the porch Jeep and I'm in a rush. So <laughs> there we go. There is our clock spring. This is a non cruise control clock spring. We're gonna go ahead and put this in Andy's Jeep. All right, we got just about everything I needed from the parts XJ. <laughs> I love having a parts XJ. It comes in handy, boy, I tell you what. Uh, thank you to the wife for uh, being sympathetic to my addiction. <laughs> I, I highly recommend everybody gets a parts XJ if their wives will let them. <laughs> there we go. Andy's Jeep behind me. Can't see his lack of a front bumper, but 
That shouldn't matter. I mean, there's guys that drive around with no bumpers, modified bumpers, completely new aftermarket bumpers. Um, that has nothing to do with the airbag going off. So uh, let me know, guys, if you had any airbag mishaps. Uh, is it the airbag module itself, just a faulty module? I don't know, guys. Let me know, and uh, I'm going to go head home, and we'll fix this Jeep. All right, guys, anytime you're working on anything airbag related, you got to disconnect the battery. So that's what we're going to do next. We want all the energy dissipated out of the system. You're supposed to wait about two minutes, uh, but we got some time because we have to take apart everything on the inside. So while Andy removes the negative battery cables, we're going to go take apart the inside of his XJ. And while we're under the hood, let's just take a quick look. We got the battery cables, that battery cable upgrade, new battery tray and tie down, new battery. Look at that, Walmart ever start. Told you that stuff was good. Let's see, we got the new water pump down there, thermostat housing. What else did we do to this baby? Oh, we got a new PCM, right? We did a PCM power steering pump. We got the new fan. Jeez, we got the steering braces way down there. Came out nice, really nice extra. How does this thing drive? Oh man, it drives like a brand new truck. It's <laughs> tight. Nice. All right guys, I'm just gonna uh, start taking all the interior parts off. I'm gonna do the center console and everything in the dash. Really simple stuff, just a screwdriver. The rest is clipped, so I'm just going to time-lapse this. Ready, go. <laughs> Oh, what's up? How you doing? Hey, good. How are you? Anthony, you? Andy, 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 Andy Anthony. Anthony. How you doing? All right, what's up, Dano? Shit, doing some repairs. Well, look, is this yours? What is Andy? It's Andy's. What's up, man? <laughs> How are you? Good to see you. Me too. Little Project G. It was his Project G. Hey, man, blew up in his face. What the hell? <laughs> Crazy, right? Well, we did a lot of work to it besides that, but... Yeah, 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 yeah of course. The whole front end is redone. Dan Dan did, like, everything. Wow, basically. All new. It's got a truss, two trusses underneath it. <laughs> really? So, yeah, I see the suspension to Jack when I was walking up the... One of the first Cherokees I was in was this guy. <laughs> right. Almost laid that bitch on fire. I flipped it. <laughs> Remember? Two and a half time rollover. Oh my god. Yeah. Remember the spotlight? Oh, oh, burn. Burn. Yeah, I left the spotlight plugged into the cigarette lighter. Let me go grab your stuff real quick. Thanks, dude. And uh, I just had it face down on the seat. Oh! Somehow overnight, oh, so I was hot. through. No, the bulb was probably hot in the beginning. It Never on. Like... It was just all oh. Just like it was a, somehow engaged the thing and burnt straight through the seat and my car was just filled with smoke no fire but it burnt straight through to the metal well you probably had it plugged in the passenger side outlet which is a live one all the time that's what it was all right so check this out guys date of manufacture for this xj is january 97 so check it out the airbag module located next to the coffee spill is actually under the seat and not underneath the center console. I wish I would have known that, but uh, it's all good. We will uh, take this off, replace it here, and then we'll clean this up, put everything back together, and we'll work on the dashboard and the steering wheel. Well, all right, guys, I think we found our culprit. I am certain this is why the airbag light was on and why the airbags deployed in Andy's face. This is corroded, it is rotted, it is nasty. Now, I know why they moved the airbags up here in the later years because it's uh, a drier spot less corrosion than down here where all the coffee spills and the moisture settles and the floorboards rot so good call jeep good job moving it
All right, so we ran the ground to the airbag module and the ground to Andy's custom power seats. Ran it up under here and put a self-tapper right through the high post of the seat bracket. Keep it up out of the moisture and the muck. So they're both pinned down right there. That should hold off a little better. Keep it away from the uh, these grimy studs down here. We reinstalled the airbag module right where it was from the factory. Just wrapped the wires up with some tape and uh, cleaned it up real nice inside. Couldn't go up here because we'd have to pop in some riv nuts and uh, I don't feel like doing that right now. <laughs> it's getting light and obviously it's dark. So uh, back to here, we'll just have to be mindful to keep it dry and keep it clean. All right, on with everything else. We got our police model clock spring right here and uh, we're just gonna go clip it on. Again, this uh, top clip clips right into there. Bottom clip clips right under there. Don't wanna break these. Then we'll go ahead and plug these in. And here's a good look at those plugs. That's the tab I was reaching for with my fingers to unclip this piece up here. Hard to see, it's small, it's dark, but it is there. So now you guys know. All right, slide this on. There we go, clock spring in place. Now, when you remove and put in a new clock spring and you don't have your steering wheel, it's very important that you don't go ahead and wiggle this thing around because this is supposed to be oriented right in the middle and you don't want to twist this around, install it, have your steering wheel be in another orientation and then you go turn the wheel and it's too much for this because it has been moved and then like it goes ahead and snaps internally. So you want to try to keep this thing in the 12 o'clock, 6 o'clock position at all times during installation and removal and you will have a beautiful clock spring replacement with no issues. All right, when you guys reinstall the steering wheel, you cannot mess up its orientation. There is a little notch in here. It's really hard to tell. Right at the bottom, there's just a little groove that has no splines, and that's how you know you're lining it up correctly. It uh, just fits, so easy stuff, no brainer. And uh, you guys could pop on a WJ steering wheel too, because it is the exact same um, spline count and size and everything just uh when you go ahead and do that make sure you use a 99 to 01 airbag so it can plug and play into your xj and speaking of plug and play if you're going to want to upgrade to cruise control now's the time to do it you're going to want to get a clock spring that has cruise control uh wires sticking out so you can go ahead and plug it into your cruise control buttons but it's very important you need buttons that correspond with your year. Actually, it's 97 and 98 is one set of buttons, and 99 to 2001 is another set of buttons. The resistance levels are, dis uh, are different, so if you put one set on the other, it will not work. And if you put WJ cruise control buttons on, it will work in an 01 XJ. I know that for a fact, just looking at Black Beauty. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and put this on. And, uh, yeah, oh, yeah, if you upgrade to cruise control, you're also going to need the buttons, the clock spring, and the vacuum actuator. Uh, it's easy stuff. We'll do that in another video sometime. All right, let's pop on this nut, and we'll do the passenger air bag. Air bag? The hell am I, what am I talking about? Oh, yeah, she tight. She tight. That's because of the weather. Oh. It's the rubber in there. It does it every winter. <laughs> we'll put some WD-40 in there? Sure. Just be careful of the clock spring. <laughs> All right. Okay. We are going to double check that the battery is still disconnected. Before check. We go ahead. Check, check, double check. We're going to go ahead and plug in the airbag again. This is very important. You don't want to plug this in and have it pop in your face especially if the metal side is up you'll gouge your face off with these bolts and it is not pretty i haven't seen it i haven't done it but you could imagine you don't want this <laughs> believe me this i've done this you don't want this you want the the padded end of this thing you don't want the business end i don't even want the padded end no 
All right, there it is, guys. Nice and plugged in. Now we'll go set it into its home. Uh, yeah, all right, passenger side. Moving right along. All right, guys, to do the passenger airbag, you're gonna wanna loosen up some of these screws over here on the dash. You don't have to remove this trim completely, but we're gonna take these screws out so we can lift up this, uh, this dash piece here so we could pull up this dash piece so there. Um, I guess this would be the driver's dash pad. Give this baby a little room, a little wiggle room. best weather to do this in. It's not good weather to do this in. Not at all. This stuff becomes very brittle. Yes. All right. So we got this piece up. And now we got one, two, three, four screws up here. We're going to want to remove. Airbag cover screws. One, two, three, four. See these tabs? These tabs are on the airbag. And you got to move this cover to the side and over. So let's see. Let's make sure. Oh, here we go. Hard to see. Sorry about the light, guys. Again, it's dark. We got to pull this little tab off. There we go. Make sure there's no tabs blocking it. Now we can slide this driver's side. There we go. Slide driver. And then it should lift out. And when we reinstall that, it's going to go on in the opposite manner. There we go. Busted airbag cover. After feeling around, it should be one bolt on each corner. And <laughs> of course, they are 10 millimeter. That's right. I'm making headway. I got a little extension. I got a universal spring loaded. Thank you, Chris Watson. <laughs> and I got I got a 10 millimeter on here. So this is coming out slowly, but surely. And now I'm gonna get the top two with just a regular size 10 millimeter on the ratchet. Alright, come on out, blown airbag. You have did your job. Thank you. Alright, different year X-rays have different year airbag plugs, and this Jeep is no exception. I have, uh, I think it's a 2000 airbag, and this is a 97 XJ. So we're gonna have to. Sorry, I had to do a double take real quick. The battery died. So what we're gonna do is plug in the new style airbag wire into the 98 Jeep harness. I guess this is a 2000, 2001 thing. Not sure, but either way, no big deal. It's got the same main harness. So plugging that in and we'll just drop this connector right back in the spot where we got it from. Just two plugs down here. Clip that down, get to go, and slide the airbag right back into its home. There you go. Beautiful. Very nice. All right, now we're just going to put in the 10 millimeter fasteners once again. Nice, airbag is in. Excellent. Let's put this baby back together. All right, guys, this next part isn't really hard, but it's not really that easy either. Um, it helps to put this airbag cover on if you got it 
uh, if you get it slippery, because it's got to do some sliding. So I'm going to hit this thing with a little WD-40 on the back side of it over here. And then I'm going to hit this metal pieces, these little aluminum clips, with a little bit of WD-40 just to help us out. Nothing crazy. So now we got to line up the top. And it's more difficult because we got to do the top as well as the bottom. We got to put it over these tabs and slide her on. There we go. Woo! Double check the bottom. Let's double check to see if I'm still filming. <laughs> Woo! There we go. I think that's it. There we go, guys. Now you can see we got the cover on these tabs. Lines up perfectly. Got it on these little plastic nibs. We got room for our bolts. So that's lined up. Good to go on the top. And same thing with the bottom. All these little screw holes line up. And again, the cover is slid over those metal tabs. So that is it. The bag is installed, looking good. We just gotta screw it on. Click it down. Ready, go. Nice. Click this in. Ready, go. Beautiful. Slide in our glove box stoppers. Beautiful. Might want to wipe this down. It looks a little moldy. It's okay. So is the rest of my truck. <laughs> Word. <laughs> all right, guys. Here it is. Andy's Jeep all back together. Got the passenger airbag, looking nice, nice airbag cover. I'll let Andy have a limited center console bezel, looking really nice. We got the we got the Stimulus XJ steering wheel airbag cover on, so that's looking good. And uh, what else? Yeah, we got the airbag sensor, the air, sorry, airbag module under the seat. And uh, of course, it is snowing once again on me every Jeep video. How do you like that? So, uh, to avoid any injuries, <laughs> we're gonna go, we're gonna attach the battery terminal back on while we're out of the Jeep, and we're also going to remote start the Jeep, and uh, hopefully, the uh, these suckers won't pop. Let's cross our fingers. <laughs> Hey, I think I just saw the airbag light go off. There it is, guys. No airbag light. Fantastic. All right, guys, here we go. This Jeep is running. It is on. It is doing well. It's been running for about 10, 15 minutes. We got the new passenger airbag, new driver airbag, new module, and no airbag lights. This is excellent. Now I gotta get inside because I am getting covered in snow, again. All right guys, we are done. Yes, we finished the airbag swap, airbag module, uh, airbag deployment repair, if you will. We're gonna send this baby home. Boom. All right, buddy. <laughs> Get home safe, all right, man? Watch out for those icy roads. Okay. Let's watch this bad boy leave, anytime. <laughs> Yeah, and the window motor. Roll that sucker up before it seizes. <laughs> we just had to replace the window motor in this thing. Yeah, it froze up and uh, it wasn't fun to replace in uh, 20 degrees. So there we go. Another successful Jeep project. Check this out. Let's look at the carnage down here. We got the old passenger airbag cover. That rips. We got the old passenger airbag. You can see the sides blown out, everything stretched. 
driver air brake cover. Bye. See ya. See ya. Bye. <laughs> that is garbage. And the old clock spring, garbage too. <laughs> so uh, yeah, that's a wrap guys. Thank you so much for watching. Um, sorry it was dark conditions. Winter hours suck. It's cold, it's dark, and uh, trying my best. So thank you guys again for watching. Remember to like, subscribe, bleh, subscribe. My lips are frozen. Comment down below, and I will see you guys in the next project. Peace. Speaking of carnage, let's look inside the old airbag module. Ugh. No wonder that crap blew. Holy smokes, guys. Nasty. If you guys get a check airbag light, you better check that airbag. Dang. Nasty. Nasty.